Hey, welcome back, beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me here. Let's get you some messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you're doing amazing. Let's go, Sagittarius. A lot of shifts going on, guys. So what's going on here, spirit? Domestic harmony. <laughs> A lot of change. It's like karmic completions, things wrapping up. Okay, completing cycles. So you can expect to see some domestic harmony here. A lot of changes going on. Hmm. This is about self-love. And a lot of financial discipline coming in. So you're going to have to... You could be finding yourself this month, you know, going through, you know, a financial discipline here, having to pay attention to your finances, your resources. It says for domestic harmony. Okay, so it is about harmonizing. It is about keeping that domestic harmony and it is about having to be financially disciplined you could be doing a lot of financial things this month let's see a lot of communications wrapping things up completing things you could be organizing your home you could be organizing your finances getting everything to all together completions wrapping things up Sagittarius. Well, exposing a lot of things. People that are up to mischief here. Warnings. You could be getting a lot of warnings that people are up to mischief, up to no good. And, and it's like you're preparing. There is some resistance here. So you may have to like, um, it's about forming bonds with people. You're going to have to, there is some resistance here. So you're going to have to find yourself financially disciplined this month. It's looking like. There could be a lot of changes, um, and it's about keeping harmony in your home. Keeping, it's about domestic harmony, keeping harmony in your house. You may be facing a lot of resistance. You may be facing, you know, some fears. You might have to, it's like a weird energy that I'm picking up on. You're trying to remain, keep your home life harmonious. And you might be up against a lot of resistance, a lot of opposing forces. Okay. Which is why I'm saying you want to keep your space sacred. Especially to do with your home and the harmony and the balance within your home. Because people are going to be seeing a lot of changes this month, not just you. It It's like with this eclipse energy, it's like you might find yourself getting a lot of resistance from people or feeling a lot of resistance, or it could be you yourself. Uh, you want to keep your home and your space sacred. And you might be getting resistance to this. Now it's things to do with commitments, okay? Uh-huh. And it's about survival, so... There can be some upheavals here. You might be having upheavals with people. This is that planetary shift. Upheavals in your routine. You might find like 
you could find yourself sitting here going, okay, what am I up against? Why am I feeling such resistances with people, places, or things? Ooh, it's in the resistance energy, like... I'm feeling like hands off. That's what I'm seeing. Like, whoa, uh, back off. I'm, I'm, I will, don't come in my space. Like people could be in the energy of like survival mode. Do you know what I'm saying? People might be trying to cause you some kind of mischief or you might find that people are up to mischief. And it's like, I want to keep my home space sacred keep your space keep your distance uh, i'm trying to remain harmonious here and i want sacred space i'm feeling hands off back off well, let's get some goddess energy on this It's like you're going, I don't need no more upheaval. I don't need no more trouble. I don't want to get involved with nothing that's going to disturb my harmony. I don't want to get involved with nothing that's going to cause me any kind of upheaval here. Because there's some kind of survival mode that somebody's in. Uh, you could be doing this resisting. Ah, see the moon. And Callie is here with. So you are, this is this liberation. That's like the nine of pentacle energy. You know, you've worked really hard. You are feeling quite comfortable. And it's about sacred unity, protecting that independence. I don't know. So it's like you're forming some kind of an alliance or that there's this teamwork. You're committed to, it's about commitments. You're committed to, it doesn't have to be romance. I'm not even talking about romance. I'm talking about your personal energy. I'm talking about your personal space. It, it's almost as if it's things to do with home and keeping your home harmonious. So someone, okay, so, so people are getting used to Sag being one way. Uh, Sag is changing. Sag is going through a lot of changes. Sag is trying to protect Sagi's domestic harmony, peace within the home, peace within relationships. You're feeling a lot of resistance. A lot of people are resistant to your changes. They don't really like your changes. They don't really like um, how you've liberated yourself, how you have are maintaining some kind of domestic harmony and it's like you're doing this out of survival you are trying your best to survive you are trying very hard to keep your home life sacred and your space your energies sacred because you're working really hard and a lot of people don't they're resistant to you changing they, they may not like these changes that they see in you Sagittarius You may feel like okay, just hang on. 
Sagittarius, please and thank you. Ah, it is definitely things to do with home. <clears throat> this is that um, Cancerian energy, their home bodies. It's like, uh, you know, there's this protective shell around them. There's this, like, I want to keep my home safe. I want to keep my home in domestic harmony. I want to keep the peace here. Ah, uh, like, the crab is the crab for a reason. They are home bodies. They are all about home and family and they have a protective shell around them. So, you may have to forgive people. You may find yourself in a position where you again, and I'm saying again, like this is something you've repeated for, for many times. It's like, in order to keep domestic harmony, I'm going to have to be the one that is forgiving. In order to maintain domestic harmony and peace, I am going to have to be the one that has the forgiveness, that has the understanding here. You could be up against upheaval, uh, had a falling out or disagreements with people uh, and you are being the one that has to go, you know what, I got to be the one that's understanding. To keep peace in the home, I, again, and I'm repeating, again, has to be the one that has the forgiveness, the understanding. And maybe you're getting a little fed up with this because it's become a pattern, because it's become a routine. Now, these are close connections. A new romance is on the way. Watch for the signs that are leading you to your true love. The, and now here's the wheel. Okay, your luck is about to change. There are unseen forces working for you, which will change the path of your life. And you, again, are standing your ground, unlocking the warrior within you to help you conquer any obstacle and secure your victory. This is about survival. And this is about people you're close to. Two. And like I said, there can be some resistance here. What's going on? Due to messages. Okay, you could be getting a lot of communication or messages. You will receive good news. It can come in the form of an email, a text message a phone call or a letter. Doors are opening up for you. This is a time when you can achieve a lot and make big changes. And you may have been up against um, a lot of resistance here. Or you may have people around you <clears throat> that have been resisting some kind of change. I don't know. It's like doors are opening up for you. Reasons to celebrate. There is an issue or an opportunity that needs your immediate attention. And you may have to act now before you miss this opportunity. Get ready to celebrate. This could be an achievement. Or a social event coming up is on the horizon. Okay, okay, okay. So divine power is here. Believe in your divine power within you. Because once it's awakened, a whole new life will start to take shape for you. And I am feeling it is things to do with your home, uh, domestic things, 
financial things, uh, uh, and you may be up against people who combat you, causing upheaval for you. Like a lot of people are resistant to these changes, resisting uh, some kind of change. Let's find out what this change is. Again, the moon. Yeah. Someone's up to mischief. Or this is strategy, but it did say mischief. It's an opportunity here. You're going to receive some kind of opportunity. It could be an invitation. It could be a promotion, a raise, or a major purchase, or something to do with money. Okay? Or an invitation. Let's see. And there is that Cancerian energy. So this could actually have to do with a cancer because cancer is here. But that cancerian energy, um, oh jeez. Somebody could be worried about finances, some upheaval in their finances. It is about, okay, here is an opportunity. I've got an opportunity here. This could be to do with you receiving messages about a golden opportunity that is leading to some sort of financial uh, situation. Now, it's upheaval. And there is some kind of embarrassment or regret here. The, there's some kind of combative energy. About a message, you're going to get some good news. But this good news may cause an upheaval. It's like trying to create, like, smooth it all out. Trying to smooth it all out. I don't know what this is. This can be a soulmate or someone close to you. Oh my Jesus. There is an upheaval healer. There is fighting or arguing. Um, someone is stressed out here. Someone could be crying. Somebody could be upset about this opportunity. Someone could be upset about some kind of blessing that you're getting someone feeling jealous of your relationship or your bond that you share with someone. Again, it's about a masculine energy could be Cancerian, because it's the King of Cups. So you might be dealing with a Cancerian 
masculine who's having an upheaval. Or this could be like a brother, a father, an uncle. I, I don't know. There's some fear here or worry. And then followed by the emperor. So this could be like a father figure that I am talking about. Or like... So somebody over here has got some envy because of your relationship. Someone you have a close bond with. Hang on. It, it, there's some upheaval here. Someone wants to take a leap of faith. And here you are, this... Uh, you are this warrior energy. What did it say about the warrior? This is you. Standing your ground to unlock the warrior within you to help you conquer any obstacle and secure your victory. Okay. Okay. This is about happiness, or this could be about a child. It's like, act now, or you may miss an opportunity. Like, the portals are opening up for you. This is about... A new relationship or this is about I don't know if you're manifesting or someone wants to work on something to do with home home and family Whatever this is, it's very stable. It's very secure. You could be doing home renovations. You could be purchasing real estate. You could be in a positive, positive, like, home environment. There could be a real estate deal coming up. Hmm. It could be to do with your work. It could be to do with getting extra income or it's good news for Saj. It could be something that you prayed for, something that you've been wishing for. This could be a dream house, a dream uh, a dream um, it could be about investing okay this is about giving a lot of thought to something so you could be doing a lot of soul searching this month not just you but other people could be um doing a lot of soul searching here you know what do i want what do i really want out of my life 
what do I really want to achieve here? And it's like, this could be to do with family. To fulfill some kind of wish. But what is this moon energy all about that keeps coming up? This is having to be discerning. This is having to be wise. But what's... It? Okay, this is a prime opportunity. Things changing in your favor. A lot of changes. And there is like, okay. Somebody is getting angry about these changes or doesn't want to see something change. So it could be um, things to do with home and family. Someone has some hidden anger or somebody has some hidden resentments. They're becoming resentful of your changes. Somebody figures that they can control uh, an empress. They're figuring that someone is jealous of your relationship with someone that you have. They don't like these changes. It's like they're, they're bitter. They're becoming resentful. They're becoming bitter because you are changing so much. Um, maybe you have a great idea. Maybe there's like a, a really good opportunity that's coming up and somebody is like resisting that change. It's like, it's for good for you, Saj. And it's pissing someone else off. It's making someone very angry. And it's like you're forming a relationship with someone or you're forming a bond with someone. Now, that, that could be a family bond. Or that can be that you're working very closely with someone in your family and someone else is very jealous of it. They're becoming resentful and angry because you're getting such good luck. They're resentful of this positive change that you're getting. You could be getting a lot of communications and somebody else is up to mischief here. I knew that was going to come. Behind the scenes, they're up to mischief. Behind the scenes, they are resentful and they are angry that you are getting favorable changes. And you may need your space. Now this, the lover's card is here. Now you may be 
meeting a new person. You may be meeting a new soulmate. Okay. Or you may be forming a partnership or an alliance with someone. The lover's card does not have to be lovers. It can be getting closer to someone. It could be forming a business relationship with someone in love or in business. It's like a partnership. Someone is envious of this partnership. They don't think it's fair. That you are getting this message of good news. Or that you are receiving some kind of phone call. Or letter or text message. Summons up the mischief behind the scenes about a message, a text, or a letter. Could be an email, could be they know what up. An alliance can be to do with a business. A victory, to secure a victory. It could be winning. I don't want to freak any of you out. But it could be winning a lottery. It could be winning a contract. It could be winning something. Winning... Uh, a debate, winning in court, winning in actually winning something. It could be a home. Real estate, a business. It could be a business license. It could be uh, licensing. It could be This is to secure your winnings. Random? Oh my God. If you got a court case going on, you're going to win. This could be to secure your victory. You, that can be the Lottery Corporation. That can be um, real estate. It can mean government. It can mean good news. You just have to come in and secure your winnings or something like this. What up? It could be a new relationship. It could be a new business. It could be the winning ticket. The winning prize. You might win something. You're celebrating. You're celebrating.
this is congratulations. You have just won something. Congratulations. You are the winner. Congratulations are in order. Somehow, some way. Either a job, real estate, maybe you bid on a project. Maybe you win the bid on uh, a project. Maybe you you are chosen, your winning ticket has been chosen. This could be a lottery, a lottery home, a, a winning ticket. Messages that you are celebrating. But it kills somebody else. I don't know. This is security. Something being delivered to you? Is this a delivery? That could be the post office. From a corporation. I don't know, it's just like you're excited about this, Saj. And you're holding it, whatever it is. Congratulations, you've got the winning ticket here. Or congratulations, you've just won. Or congratulations are in order here. So somebody is trying to like block this mail, block this message. Oh. You're standing up for yourself. <clears throat> You're like, fuck the upheaval. It's my ticket. I won. <laughs> You're like, fuck off. This is resistance. Somebody is trying to like... You're standing up for yourself. You're like, fuck that. That's my winning ticket. Or I won this. Or it's my uh, winnings. Or you're like, fuck this. You're standing up for yourself. You're going, hell no. I won that fair and square, or I worked for that fair and square. No, this is mine. Something from a distance. It's like something from a distance. It could be email. It could be something on the web. It could be international. It can be... completing something a completion i'm sorry we have we have completed this this is like all you have to do is submit the winning ticket or something and you're like yeah plan And somebody might be pissed off at you. Hmm. 
Ooh. Oh, it says. Yeah, somebody else gets. I don't know if it's an inheritance. What's going on here? Huh. That's winning. You're winning something, Sagittarius. Or you got some kind of victory. Securing your victory. You're going to see a lot of success. Believe in the divine power within you because... Once it's awakened, a whole new life will start to take shape for you. This is divine power. It's about recognizing patterns. It's about recognizing patterns. And it's not just with, you could be getting a new lover. You could be getting, oh my God, you could, some of you might be meeting the person of your dreams this year. Like, you've changed, Sagittarius, you're changed. You're not the same person you used to be. And it's almost like you win something or you hit pay dirt somehow. People from your past trying to resurrect relationships and you've changed such. You're not the same person you used to be and it's almost like you're winning something here, securing a victory here. This, whatever this is, is going to leave you very financially abundant. I don't know if it's lotto. I don't know if it's real estate. I don't know if it's a business, a partnership. I'm telling you, you're not going to have to worry about your finances. And it's looking though... A lot of you, if you were single, you may not be single for this year. It, 
unless you're choosing to be Sagittarius. You are celebrating this year in the home, domestic harmony, and finances. This is a good year for Sagittarius to get opportunities, promotions, raises, real estate, um, securing your future, securing, having financial security. And I think you piss off a lot of people, Sagittarius, because you are financially disciplined. You're not that person who's just going to like hand over things willy-nilly anymore. I'm not saying you're not going to be generous because you are very generous. But it's like you're not going to give it all away. You're going to secure your future. you got to provide for yourself. You've got to look after yourself. Yourself is fine and it's good to help other people out. But whoever this is who's working behind the scenes... Let's put it to you this way. <clears throat> Sagittarius, <clears throat> you should have a legal will put in place. And I am not saying you're dying. <laughs> you should have a will put in place for the event that someone tries to who you don't want accessing your funds after you're no longer here, getting their hands on it because they're planning it. <coughs> they're going to try. You're celebrating something very successful. And it's almost like someone behind the scenes is trying to look how they can capitalize on what you get. That is the only caution. If you have a lot of assets or you get this winnings, make sure you get a legal will done. And make sure that whoever you want to give stuff to gets it. That will solve the whole dilemma. And I'm not saying you're dying. <laughs> but that's what this kerfuffle could be about. You know, oh, Sagittarius has this and Sagittarius has this. Sagittarius is come into some kind of money here. And this could be about the designation of who gets what. You know what I mean? People get greedy. People get greedy. And someone behind the scenes here is getting greedy. And it seems to be a queen of swords. Again, so just make sure, like, if you do win something 
or you are investing in real estate, you know how you invest in a partnership or a real estate or something like that. You invest with one person or something like that. Then their spouse wants to have access to whatever you have access to. Or it could be about, you know, well, uh, okay, just it's telling you to solve the issue. Just get a will done. And keep all the greasy fingers out of what you don't want people to have. Problem solved. So it's not left as a burden to other people. No, you're not in the will. <laughs> That's what it's cautioning about. Because all the greedy little fingers come out when, you know, you got anything of value, especially a lottery, especially real estate, in the event that something happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it's talking about. Make sure you're financially disciplined and make sure whoever you are entrusting is financially disciplined. This could be a lawyer. This could be a lawyer getting something notarized or legalized. And it could be a legal will. To ensure that what you have worked for doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And I am not saying you're dying. Well, we all are going to die one day, right? So to avoid any conflict, just deal with it. Take care.